Hello everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood, well-rounded mermaid, Eloria. I have missed you. How have you been? It is spooky season right now. I'm going to put this down and show you. You can tell I got my witchy outfit going. I have my little witchy sleeves and my witchy shirt. It says witch and famous on it. And I've got my little witchy background. Here we are. Happy celebrants of spooky season here in the uh, water song house. And I'm so excited for Shelloween. How about y'all? Are you stoked for Shelloween season? I'm so happy it's finally here. And I have a fabulous little something to unbox for you, hence my skizzagizzers here. Nirid Studios has sent me a little something and it's a vinyl. They have just recently developed a vinyl to go in their tails and because all of their tails have the same fluke, you can transfer it from one Nirid Studios tail to the other. It'll fit all of them. So you only need one vinyl. Easier on the environment for production, easier on the environment for shipping, and easier on you because you just go boop to boop to boop, drop in your tail, and you're good to go. So I'm super excited about that, and I really wanted to get this done so I can make a full review for all of y'all to let you know what their new vinyl is like. So we have an unboxing. Thank you so much for joining me and spending your time with me. I'm so excited to dive into this, so let's do it. I have their fantabulous package here. Let's crack into this puppy. This guy is the second try for this uh, package. The ExoFeds lost the first one that they sent to me, but that was just a vinyl. Um, no, just, that was the vinyl that they sent me, but they kindly chose to try again, and not only to try again, but, you know, the corner here, but also just send me a tail coat, so I'm really excited. Ugh. I hear that people are interested in finding out how many tails I actually own. If you're one of those people and you want to know how many tails I have, let me know in the comments. I will do a tail video, a tail tally, if you guys would like that. Okay, let it start here. I've also been filming, believe it or not. You know, I just have to just like try on it this thing. So, I've been working on that, but as a solo mer, it's not always easy to film by yourself. So, uh, I've been working on that. I've got little lines of things that I have to do things that I can film. So, I'm sorry, Nerd Studios. I like usually like to try to keep your boxes, but. This one might have to be destroyified. All right, do the first layer. Let's see. We can pull it out this way. Can I open this way? Oh, I think we got it. Let's do them both at once. Oh, we did it. We did it. All right, so we have a tail here. Vinyl here. This. You guys hear that? That is a sturdy boy. We like a sturdy boy. For vinyls, this is good. That means it's not going to be thin. That is awesome. And if it is super folded, which obviously, you know, it's had to go through the post, I do have a heat gun in case we have to gently flatten it a little bit. But I'm sure it'll spring into place. Once it is released of its plastic prison. Be careful. Not to the precious. Yeah. Oh, that's so satisfying. God, it's so pretty. Like, I'm already seeing the edges. It's like ice. Oh, clear flukes would be so freaking wicked. All right, here we go. We're close. Okay, we got it. One, two, three. Go. Oh, there we go. There's our one side. She thick. Oh, y'all. I'm excited. Gated. She is thick. This ain't no. Flimsy piece of plastic up in here. Flimsy piece. Wow, I can't have words. Oh, yo, look it. Now, I know it might be difficult to see because clear. 
but that is some pretty good quality vinyl up in here. I am excited about that. And as you can see, it's got a variety of holes so that no matter what your monofin, you can have a place to put to secure your monofin. They've got holes here, 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 all the way down the sides, again, to secure whatever monofin you may have. Uh, if you are new to Mirrod Studios, that is because their tails can accommodate a variety of monofins. They can accommodate the linden, the mahina. That is some sturdy here. I'll show you how thick it is. You see the YouTuber thing? <laughs> You see how thick that is? That's really nice, thick, sturdy plastic with your monofin. That should give some good propulsion. And it is cut. I'm going to make sure I show you the bottoms here. It is cut in the shape of their flukes. So it's got this lovely two-tipped design to go into their tails. This is a big mamma jamma. I am excited. What do y'all think? This is pretty good quality. They also included some Velcro strips. Now let's see what we got in the way of a tail. Nice and boobla wrapped. Ooh. Oh, y'all, they sent me the Cardinal. It's the cool black and white one. I'm gonna be tail twins with Mermaid JC. I'm gonna be tail twins with Mermaid JC. You know, it's one thing to see these on the internet, just in the 2D flat plane, but to see it, to see it in person. I was not ready for how beautiful the scales were, the scale work is. Look at this. This is so nice. And we're going up the tail, up the tail, up the tail, up the tail. And she has hip flute, hip fins and cat fins. Oh, that's so pretty. I hope you all can see all of this. Isn't it gorgeous? All the way down to the fluky tips. I love how it looks like it's sparkling. Oh, this is gonna be pretty in the water today. I'm so excited to go swimming with this. <gasps> Look at the speck length. So this is one of the calf fins. I do believe, yes, yes. Look at the beautiful markings on this thing. Wow, I was not ready. So oh, pretty. It's like dappled light because you can still see the striations of the fin. Make sure you can see this. You can still see the striations of the fin through the light spots. It's like sparkling light shining on your fins. How pretty! And then it follows these markings all the way in. to these lovely little hip fins. Oh, these are so pretty, you guys. And by the way, I hope um, you all know, whether you're new followers, new viewers, or people who have followed me for a long time, when I use the term you guys, it is a gender neutral everybody. It's like y'all. Um, guys, dude, I'll go, oh, dude, it's, <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's a holdover from the eighties or the nineties or what, but to me, both guys and dude are gender neutral terms. Dude can express, wow, oh my gosh, you don't say, um, all kinds of things. And you guys is also like a y'all or a everybody. 
uh, term. If you have different terms that you'd like me to use that you think would be cool or better, again, let me know in the comments because I'm always down for expending my vocabulary. And I always want to be inclusive. So, y'all here, look at that pretty little thing. Oh, and look at the tippy tips. So this kind of looks like the tipping on the vinyl. Let's see what this looks like with the vinyl inside. Let's get it in. And we're just gonna snap all the way down. Gonna do this in real time so that you can see how easy it is. Once you roll the scene. And if anybody out there digs the serotonin of bubble wrap, <laughs> snaps are akin to that. And again, we're just gonna make sure that our vinyl is in the tips. We got the vinyl in this tip. Gotta put the vinyl in this very end. Sorry if mostly you're seeing is the underside of my chin. A snappy snap. And that is snapped. And y'all, she's in. Like that's, that's it. Now, of course, I have to size it to whatever mono fin I'm going to use. And of course, I'm sure lots of you guys know I'm going to use the Mahina. She is heavier than the Linden but she's got some power, she's got some push, and I think that'll be a good trial fin for this. And yeah, the vinyl is in. Like that's a solid little booger right there. I am so excited to take this on a swim, and yes, I will be taking my gro GoPro, my GroPo. Wow, Blah. GoPro. I will be taking my GoPro with me, and we will see how this puppy swims. And of course, now that she is no longer folded for shipping, we're gonna work all those little kinks out. And I am going to put the Mahina, and I can show you what the Mahina looks like, completely um, fitted into this monofin so you can see what it looks like. And yeah, we're gonna take this baby for a swim. So, thank you all for joining me. I hope that you found this educational. I am super excited about this vinyl. It's going to really help with push. Um, I've always been able to swim no problem with my Nerid Studio Tails, but this is going to make that propulsion so much better. I'm just so excited. So thank you Nerid Studio. This is so rad. I'm so excited to be able to tell everybody about this. And if you're tempted to get your own cardinal tail or the nightshade or any one of their gorgeous tails they are neoprene and as it gets into the colder months like autumn and winter that we've got coming here these tails are fabulous for colder water whether they're pool or outdoor freshwater ocean whatever you like to swim in these babies keep you warm and it is so nice and sometimes i forget how these keep you warm and then you go to take your tail off in the water and you're like, oh my gosh, it's so cold because you forget how cozy these babies keep you. So I'm excited. This is so rad. Thank you very, very much, Nerid Studios. So sweet of you not only to send me the vinyl, but to send me the vinyl twice and uh, to send this beautiful cardinal tail out. I, I was not ready. It is gorgeous. <laughs> this is going to be so beautiful. And it's kind of regular mermaid, but it can also work for siren and it can also work for Arctic mermaid because it's black and white. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear when I go swimming later today. This will be fun to figure out. Uh, and if you are tempted to get your own, they're having a sale right now until I believe the middle of the month. So go check out their website. Uh, they do not pay me for these. I don't know if you would call these sponsored or not. They send me things to review so uh, and to, to demonstrate. So that's what they've done here. They sent me the vinyl. They sent me the tail, full disclosure. Um, but they don't, you know, pay me for these. When you use my code, which is DREAMBIG10, it will save you money and also send me a little bit. But I am not 
in it for the making of the monies. I am in it for sharing with the world affordable, awesome tales and saving y'all a few clams, a few sand dollars, because I know what it's like to be a broke fish and not to be able to afford to live your dreams. So anything I can do to make mermaiding more affordable, I am super, super down for, I'm so excited about. And I believe my code will stack. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll let you guys know how this vinyl swims. I'm so stoked to try it out. <laughs> Have a good day, you guys, all of you, y'all. Thank you so much for being here, spending your time with me. If you like what you found here, please kick the, click, kick, don't kick it, click it, the like button and the follow, come follow me on my adventures. I'm gonna keep trying to uh, film and get stuff edited. That's the hardest part is editing. That's what takes me the longest. I've actually been filming oh, a few different swims that just haven't been uploaded yet because they haven't been finished editing. Uh, but yeah, I've got stuff in the works for you. I've got spoopy stuff in the works for you. And you can find me on Finstagram. You can find me on other social media under Iluria, my name, Y-L-L-U-R-I-A. Have a good day. Love you guys. Happy shimmies and waves of love. Bye. <laughs> Shalom, mer amigos. Uh, post insertion. Wow, that sounds really wrong. I have put the monofin inside the vinyl and I have discovered a couple things. When I thought that we only had two vinyl in our little package from Nirid Studios, I was very incorrect. This is one single Velcro. There were like six. So that those two those two that I thought were just two really fat ones, no, that was like five or six different Velcros. You get a bunch of these to fit your monofin inside. I would show you, but then I would have to completely nakedify my tail, which is really not that hard. But um <laughs> I have her on the loose loosest setting from side to side. We will see if I need to tighten her down after I swim with her, sort of get a feel for uh, the Mahina in the vinyl. The other thing I want to mention that I kind of knew from other tales, but was reminded of that I want to be sure to pass on to you. For anybody who's new to using a vinyl in a fluke with a mer mermaid tail, um, or you know, even if you're not, maybe this is just a little something that you possibly didn't know already. These vinyl tails often have Velcros, and these Velcros are two-sided, so you got a soft side, it's nice and fuzzy, and then you've got the hard side, the hooked side. When you wrap your Velcro around the vinyl holes, around the holes in the vinyl, you want to be sure that it is soft side facing out. This is not only going to be gentler on your tail, it's uh, not going to hurt the fabric, but also if you do it the other way with the hook side facing out, with this side facing out, it's going to catch on your fabric. So anytime your fabric makes contact with the Velcro, it's going to stick. <laughs> that's gonna even rough up your tail from the inside. So just to be gentler to your tail and so that it's not sticking in wrong and weird places, just remember that when you put them, your Velcros through the slots, you want it to be the nice soft side so that it doesn't catch on your fabric and it doesn't not only rub a hole in it, but it's just nice and smooth and can move freely within the monofin. Thank you so much. I hope that helps. And I'm out.